What is Omba's competitive edge? Um, Omba's competitive edge, I mean, we're, we're, we're in a space now which is, is getting traction with a lot of players globally, but we're still one of the first movers in, in what we're doing. So there are very few people in the world who exclusively use ETFs to build model portfolios. Obviously, a lot of the big ETF providers themselves have solutions of bonds and equity mixes that you could have. So you could have a, a Vanguard or an iShares or a, you know, a, a large house that develops multi-asset portfolios. But there are very few people who consider the entire universe who are product agnostic in, in the sense that we would use any one of the hundreds of different ETF providers in the world to build our client portfolios. So that's the, the one point is our objectivity and independence in choosing those ETFs. And then also, we, because we've been doing this for so long, we're ETF specialists. So, you know, this, we haven't just only recently heard about and started doing ETFs. Uh, my research on ETFs goes back to about 2013, 2014, and, and really started to understand the difference between active managers and passive managers. But what we wanted to do was not ignore the, the, the thinking that you can add skill to a process. And, and we do believe in, in, in active managers adding skill and having alpha. But we wanted to embrace the portfolio construction process to keep in terms of the theory that's, that stands behind having a multi-asset portfolio and, and adjusting risk appropriately. But we wanted to use a product that would allow us to keep the cost down in that construction. And then in terms of our process, and, and I can elaborate this in, in, at length, we also do make active decisions, but we do so implementing it only with ETFs. And I think that's one of our competitive advantages. And the reason it remains a competitive advantage is because a lot of the in incumbent firms that use act that have their own active management product, and you'll know all the big houses and brands of the world, they don't want to build their portfolios exclusively with ETS because it cannibalizes their existing margins. So they'll never be forthcoming with a solution that's exclusively passive because their current clients that are in the active solutions would then want to switch potentially, and that'll cannibalize their margin. So we think we can retain our competitive advantage for quite a long time. And of course, one has to adapt to business over time.